This is the free motion quilting tutorial for ball bearings. This design is stitched with a series of half circle shapes, almost like you're creating a rainbow. So first I created a half circle, then I echoed that about a half an inch away, and then I'm going to echo that one more time on the outside with a very narrow echo. Now for this one, I decided I wanted an internal echo as well, so I travel stitched inside and stitched inside of that as well. And then I'm going to go inside of that wide echo and fill it with arching shapes. Just simply bounce back and forth with a nice arch shape, almost like a half moon. Back and forth until you get to the opposite side. Now I'm going to travel stitch outside of this and come up with another half circle. Go on outside, travel stitch and echo that. Then echo again with a nice wide echo about a half an inch away. This is giving me more than enough space for those half moons in the center. Echo it one more time and what that's doing is that's just creating a nice little bit of a gap between each ball bearing shape. It makes them stand out from one another. If you stack them on top of each other it would get kind of messy. So this is allowing them to really stand out and show off. And then just simply back stitch back and forth bouncing off the edges. It does you know really does take a little bit of control over your quilt uh, but just take it slow and what's nice is that the two sides of the echoes really kind of give you a guide as to where you're going. You just kind of bounce back and forth off those edges as you fill that space completely. When you get done travel stitch back out and start another one. This is an echoing design it's stitched by simply starting with the shape and travel stitching and echoing. The only difference between this and Echo Shell, a design from the very beginning of the project, the only difference between this and that design is the fact that we're traveling back inside and we're working to fill that space with these half moon shapes. That's really the only difference. It's one extra step, but it adds so much more beautiful texture and design to this free motion quilting design. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when you filled a good section of your quilt with this design. It is kind of time consuming, it is kind of slow, but it looks beautiful and it's worth it. So you can see I'm trying to fit this in right here and it's a little tricky so I'm just going to go on ahead and stitch this corner one at the same time so that way everything remains consistent. And I just stitch some back and forth lines, just trying to make sure that it keeps the same look with the rest of the design in the square. There's a lot of travel stitching involved, so take it easy, take it slow. Use gloves, that will help you move your quilt smoothly and evenly and give you the control you need to be able to get into those positions and those areas and stay right on the line. So you can see how this works in free motion. Go give it a try. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish quilting ball bearings. For tools and supplies specifically for free motion quilting on a domestic sewing machine, check out daystyledesigns.com.